boys heard of uh, Old Dominion? Dominions. I heard they're going away the this year. this year, man, but I'm big on Yale. Yale's yeah. been torching the Nets all year. You know, old Dominion, dude. I'm feeling Colgate all the way in that in that bracket. All right. Well, hey, let's just let's just start them. See where we can do. This is the right, year. Right. This is the year. Dude, I don't know. UCF's just giving me trouble, man. They got that huge guy, Taco Fall. Taco Fall. Oh, man, I can't. I gotta redo this one. You said Taco Fall. Are you kidding me? I need a new thinking spot. Stupid couch. Man, dude, Fletcher McGee and Wofford, Ben, I don't know what to do. He's giving me trouble. All right, boys. It's been three hours. I've finally got the stats, so listen up. Belmont, you never know about them. They're a three and a half point favorite. VCU's just got that great defense. UCF is just deadly from field goals near the free throw line. Can't forget about Duke. Duke has Zion. Launch, launching, uh, that's that's baseball, that's wrong. But UCF, UCF is great in football. They're gonna be great in March Madness. 12 seed always beats a five seed, remember that. Uh, Wofford, Seton Hall, Wofford, Fletcher McGee, like Cal said. They're just bound to go off. Keep in mind, once again, 12 seed always beats a five. Bradley's final four bound because Loyola was final four last year. It's the Illinois thing. Syracuse versus Baylor, Syracuse is a two point favorite. Minnesota has PJ Fleck, that is automatically a win. Also, don't forget, Virginia always chokes, and, well, UNC, you never know if Jordan's going to come back. Hello, and welcome back to episode 26 of the Cryer Sports Wire. I'm Casey Shanks. I'm here with my good friend, Ben Nirvala, and it's going to be a good episode today. Let's get it right to the pitch, Ben. Yeah, the girls' soccer team has had a tough start to the season with losses to Geneva, Batavia, and Plainfield Central, but they take on Dixon tonight at home. Good luck, ladies. All right, Casey, take us out of the diamond. All right, Ben, now that baseball is in full swing, the team went down to St. Louis, put up 37 total runs, going 2-1 and one on the weekend. Mason Kottmeyer had his first varsity start on the mound, where he threw a complete game. Nick Panico also threw a complete game on Saturday, and Michael Rogers was dominant at the All right, Ben, tell us about the boys' track team down in Huntley. Uh, yeah, the boys competed at the last chance meet, where uh, everyone did very well. The 4x8, 4x2, and 4x4 all put in the top three. Porter Conroy finished second overall, and Drew Hahn finished third in throwing. Austin Adams had a huge PR in the uh, 800 running two flat. And how about the girls, Casey? Yeah, for the girls, Abby Peeler did an excellent job throwing this week, so good job to both track teams. All right, Ben, let's take it into Athlete of the Week. Let's do it. And the first Athlete of the Week winner for the spring season is Abby Peeler. Congratulations on leading the nice and track once again. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you guys all do well in your March Madness brackets, and we'll see you guys next week. I'm Ben Urbala. I'm Casey Shanks. It's been a pleasure, Ben. It's been a pleasure.